Okay, quick update. Last night was rough. It was very, very windy and the, I don't know, created a little tornado around the little house we're staying in, which made putting our suitcases in the car very difficult. Um, but we had to wake up at 5 a.m. because I was stupid and made our uh, snorkeling adventure today for 9 a.m., but I didn't realize it was... like almost three hours away from where our Airbnb was plus there was a violent snowstorm that we had to drive through so we need to give ourselves even more time to drive but now we're here early uh, and we got like a half an hour to kill but we are going to be snorkeling in uh, the Siffer Fisher I believe is what it's called you don't know either do you no we're snorkeling in water that divides two continental plates and it's going to be extremely cold, but everyone who's done it says it was one of their favorite things that they did in Iceland, hence why we're doing it. So uh, we'll also get hot cocoa at the end, and that's, that's the motivator right now. How come the stars come to shine when it's dark? From so far away, show us where we are What makes the sun go to sleep every night And what's it dreaming of? I wonder How come the sky sometimes hides behind the clouds? Maybe it's just like me, a little bit scared of heights Why does the rain always keep on pouring down When it's gray outside It really makes me wonder
here we are at our final location in Iceland. This is our tiny house cabin right outside of Reykjavik. So we're hoping that maybe we'll have chances to see the Northern Lights. I'm gonna give you guys a quick tour. So we have this little deck here and then stairs that bring you into a sort of sunroom. It's not heated, but it'll protect you from the wind. So like if we wanna view the Northern Lights, we have that and then the actual cabin starts here so we have some photos of northern lights at these little cabins because this is one of three cabins at this location we have a little space heater a couch coffee table a little kitchen with a mini fridge literally this is like the same exact mini fridge as the last one microwave we got some storage a sort of desk area then we have the bedroom here, which is just that. And then of course, the bathroom. And there you have it, that's the tour. We will be here for three nights, soaking in the last bits of Iceland. Hey darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Darling, we could get out of town, see the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. Pack our bags and get in that car. Leave a little note and we'll drive real far. Let's get out, we can leave this city. Let's drive to the open. Countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Baby, don't you understand That we only get one life I wanna make it count, honey Come on now and take my hand oh, Hey, darling I love it when it's me and you on the road with a couple of tunes in a car for two Hey darling You know we're gonna have a really good time Driving in the middle of the night when the stars are bright Pack our bags and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Baby, don't you understand That we only get one life I wanna make it count, honey Come on now and take my hand Alright, it is officially our last full day here in Iceland So we are going uh, dog sledding and I believe we're going on the snow because that's at least what they said in the email but we'll see when we get there and then we're spending the afternoon I think just going to museums and maybe hunting down the northern lights again tonight we'll see if the weather and cloud and all of that cooperates so fingers crossed and then tomorrow afternoon is our flight home so we don't really have anything planned in the morning but we'll see what happens
off our last couple our last like hour of Iceland uh, at a hot tub that was basically on the ocean where the president of Iceland also goes the woman we were sitting next to was like see that guy in the yellow jacket that's the president of Iceland he likes to come here often and so uh, we sat in the same hot tub as the president of Iceland so I think that's a bragging point uh, very strange because like zero security, which is just strange. So yeah, we made friends. We were talking to a couple people. None of them were native to Iceland, but we found that the pattern here is that people come here for like a month or a couple months, and then they stay for very many years and they just don't leave, which I can't blame them. Iceland is very enjoyable. So we are on our way home. We can't wait to see our puppy. Uh, and get all the little snuggles from her. That's basically the only thing we miss from home. Uh, the rest of it, you know, could give or take. We, we wouldn't mind staying in Iceland. 